live from the YMCA in Hollywood, Florida, it's the first annual Hollywood Hoopsters All-Star Game. At courtside today, it's yours truly, Mickey Storm, along with my partner, Jerry Suterville. And what an atmosphere today, Jerry, anticipating what should be an amazing basketball exhibition. Rarely do we see such a collection of top talent together on the same court. Well, partner, what do you think we have in store for us today? I am so glad to be here today. We're going to have a fantastic day over here at July 4th in YMCA. Yes, we are, and I'm very excited to be here as well. These guys have been playing together for many, many years, probably for 10 or 15 years, some of them even longer than that. I know that Commissioner JP is a longtime advocate of this kind of thing, and he's been wanting for many years to get the crew together on a beautiful day today, 4th of July, 2015. Independence Day. And I know all the guys are excited to come out. Unfortunately, we won't be seeing absolutely everybody. We've got a few guys missing. I know Ron's not going to be here. Moses and his family's not going to be here. Who else are we missing today? Anybody else you can think of? Guy. Uh, yeah, from unfortunately, Guy league. from the Sunday uh, League, Bata. Yes. Some, some of our mainstays will not be here, but we have plenty of other guys that should uh, fill the gap and should be playing pretty well today. Very entertaining today, Nicky. You know, a game like today is really about legacy. It's where it really separates the men <laughs> from the boys, and it can make or break a player's career. But you know? I got something to tell you about that, Mickey. There are some boys that are playing today. Will they, are they going to become men? They may reach puberty today in front of us. I don't know, but okay. it's going to be exciting to see. Okay, Jerry. Um, so you can tell that the fans are excited to be here. I know I'm excited to be here. And we were coming into the uh, stadium a little earlier, mm -hmm. and I, I remember there were guys out in the street that were scalping tickets for up to $300 a piece, and I hope they get their money's worth today. I actually had to buy one of those just to take this seat next to you. Is that what happened? That is I was true. wondering, you did show up a little late, but I'm happy you made it in here because security apparently had stopped you from coming in. Yes. But it's great to be here. As we said, the fans are ready to... They've been. It's, this, this has been building up to a feverish level of excitement. Can't you hear the crowd in the background? They're, they're here, and I know they're excited. And look around here. Look at all those people out there. It's, it's amazing that it's so full. I mean, it, I don't see one empty seat out there. And it's uh, we're still 10 minutes before game time. Yes. And, Jerry, you know what? The fans were able to release a little bit of that excitement earlier today when they were treated to the first ever Hollywood Hoopsters three-point shooting contest. There were 16 participants who shot three balls from five different stations around the three-point arc, 15 total shots, and we really saw some pretty decent shooters. Now, Jerry, going into the competition, who were your favorites to win it all? Well, Mickey, my money, I would say Don or even Dino. From the side, the Don is very deadly. Dino shoots far. What about you? Well, I definitely would have put the top favorites as being Don and Dino. JP could have shot well. He shoots out from us. Danny is a very good three-point shooter. And even Glenn. Those guys are all really good three-point shooters. And I expected one of them to pull it out in the end. Um, I thought Dino could have gotten really hot. Or even Kareem. He's a three-point shooter. Phillip can really shoot threes for, for, for a long distance. Uh, in the ball games, they're high-pressure shooters. Uh, but in the end, the person that pulled it out, I think, was a little bit of a surprise. It was Gavin, Don's young twin son. Uh, Don, we expected to do it, but Gavin pulled it out. Were you surprised to see that? A little surprised, but during the games, he, he does pretty good in the past. And, and he usually positions himself well for those threes. Here was the final tally, though. If you take a look at it, Gavin ended up with six. He had a couple of close competitors. Uh, Dino was up among them, and so was Danny. A couple of the guys we expected. The surprise was Jeff. I, didn't, I did not believe that he would have five. Yeah, Jeff did pretty good. JP was uh, doing it. Uh, following up towards the end, Robert had one of 15. That was not good. And Aaron had two. But there's the MVP presentation. The commissioner, JP, presenting the MVP. Uh, I'm sorry, the three-point champion trophy. Well, the three-point shooting contest was a lot of fun and a good success. But now it's time for the main event. And we expect an evenly matched high-energy game. And since it's the 4th of July, Jerry, it's only appropriate that there's going to be a red team. We'll be facing the blue squad. And here are the rosters. Uh, analyze these rosters for me, if you would. All right. Well, Mickey, for the blue team, we have Danny. Well, he always takes it into the hoop. Very, he's, he's like the special guy right there. He's uh, one of the two captains. Danny, of course, the captain of the blue team. Hiram is the captain of the red team. Okay. But, yeah, Danny's definitely an a integral part of that team. What about the other guys on the blue team? Uh, I would say Don. He's like almost like the coach of the team. He's very fundamental about what's going on. You also have Jay, Aaron, JP, Jeff, Grant, Glenn, and 
Ariel. On the other kind time on the other side, you've got Hiram, as we mentioned, Philip, who's a inside presence as all as well as a good three point shooter. Dino, I think most people realize is an excellent three point uh, threat. Kareem probably the uh, He's the main point guard the, the, who likes to run the point, does very well. Robert, who's a slasher and a shooter. Gavin, has, we already saw him in the three-point contest. Correct. He can really do some uh, damage. Alec, who's a relentless hustler. And then we've got the young guy, Adrian Gabriel, who came in. He's uh, Hidam's son. We'll be playing today. Um, uh, as far as strategy, if you look at these two rosters, uh, you've got three-point shooters on the blue team. You've got rebounders on the red team. Um, anything special to say maybe about Jay, Aaron, or any of these other guys out there? Um, what kind of production do you expect from them? They're going to be almost like the sixth man of the team. they got a few of them on there. I mean, Aaron, I, I expect him and Jay to be in double digits this game. Jay, of course, is a hustler, a rebounder, a team player. Mm -hmm. I think anybody likes having a guy like that on their team. Correct. I mean, he does do a lot of assists, but I believe he might take it into his hand today, uh, Mickey, to score some baskets. And when we talk about someone like Jeff, Jeff, ultimate team player, excellent rebounder, probably one of the best rebounders in today's game. I expect him to pick up a few there. Um, Glenn, of course, is a good team player, really good rebounder, excellent shooter, and uh, he can get he can get hot. They, they have a good, well round team there. And RL, who's got height, mm -hmm. and he's got a great defensive uh, ability. He's got those long arms, hustles, uh, so they definitely have uh, If just looking at these two teams, which of them do you think, do you expect might pull it out, just by looking at the teams? By stats, it, it, it's actually, I mean, you got a lot of people on the, on the blue team that, that can pull it out. But, I mean, the red team, when they're streaky, it's, it's anyone's game, to be honest with you. I don't know. I'm excited to watch it go. We've been waiting for a long time. And really, after all the hype and all the buildup, uh, this is going to be something else. Now, before we mention it also, somebody today is going to be taking home some hardware. There's going to be an MVP trophy. It's a beautiful trophy, as you see it here. And one of the lucky players today, whoever performs the best, will be taking that home. One last thing before we get started at the tip-off, Jerry, I'd like to just give us your, uh, your keys to the game. Um, number one for the blue team, pass. There's a lot of people on that team that like to shoot. Look, look for the open man. Um, for the red team, I would suggest they have a lot of rebounders. See if they can do a lot of fast breaks. Okay, there it is. The keys to the game. Jerry's keys to the game for the blue team and the red team. And now, Jerry, after all the hype and the buildup, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for some basketball. Yeah, let's get these fireworks lit. And here we are, ready for the opening tip so between excited. Hidam and um, come on, come on. Ariel. In RL. Sorry about that. Possession first goes to the blue team. Gavin bringing it up, shoots, misses. Actually, Robert with the rebound. Um, that's Grant. Grant, I apologize. Sometimes I do get him confused. They're twins. So they are no. twins. So Grant misses the first shot. Robert with the rebound. The ultimate point guard, Kareem, into Hiram. Hiram for the jumper. Misses. Rebound. rebound Grant. to Grant. Blue team. Both teams come out a little bit nervous. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to get out the jitters. Yeah, you certainly do. There's Jeff. He's dangerous with the ball on his hands. And um, I'm glad that they, the University of Broward uh, decided to send one of their first-year camera students to the game to record for us today. Bring the ball down. Oh, good oh, defensive play by Jeff. I thought Dino had an opening three there. He did look pretty good. Hopefully he'll, he'll probably have a couple more shots during the game. Let's hope so. Uh, it looks like it'll blow, the ball will belong to the red squad. Phillips taking it out. There goes Robert. First shot, shot of the game for Robert. Oh, oh. Kind of a clunker. Rebound, Jeff. Oh, steal? No. <laughs> and the first shot of the game, I assume, went in by Jeff. Yeah, so the blue the, team. He was the only blue guy there, and they got two points. So the blue team surprisingly opens it up with the, with the first basket. As you can tell, it looks like the blue team's playing zone. Yeah, oh, Phillip. Oh, he misses the easy layup. That's too bad. Kareem, Kareem with, the rebound, back. with the layup. In. There you go. That's the shooter's touch right there for Kareem. Quite a ball player. JP bringing the ball up. Interesting, he's wearing a hat inside. Yeah. Not really sure what the idea about that is. Sure handed JP to Grant. And he'll shoot the first three. And he's got it. Wow, from Beautiful. downtown. Boy, the blue team is looking hot, tough, just like you said. They thought you thought they were going the to. The red team needs to hurry up, or they're going to be down by a lot. 
Well, just as you mentioned, the blue team has the three-point advantage, and they start out with a three. There's Dino's first three attempt, and Whoa. it's in! And he is the one guy as they tie it up 5-5. Five, five. almost looked like from half court. <laughs> Dino was out of the picture on that one. But he's the one guy that I think the red team really needs to come through on those threes. Good pass to RL. Who misses? Danny is an excellent assist uh, person there. As Around the red the team rebound. brings it up. Red team pressing. Pass. Another one for Dino. He takes another one. Oh, oh. a little too high. He might have got fouled on that one. It was off camera, so it's hard to say exactly. Danny bringing the ball up, looking for the open man. Robert playing being, good defense. Being patient here. They are trying to be patient. Jeff, back up to Danny. Oh, I thought he had a three there for a second. You know, it uh, seems like there might be some dead spots in that floor. Mm -hmm. I look in when some of the guys dribble the ball. There's Grant with another three-point attempt. Oh, what was he thinking? <laughs> yeah, it ended up in the rafters. Too bad. All right, Kareem's taking it up. Kareem, again, he's a guy that sees the whole floor. He, he takes advantage of what they give him. Another shot by Robert. No, no, not. He does. He's not on. He's not on early, and that's not a good sign for the red team. No. JP calling the number, spreading the floor, opening up for himself, giving instructions. Danny for his first three attempt. Oh! Beautiful. And there again, blue team, look at that. Of the eight points they've got so far, two, two of them. Two threes. From downtown. Yeah. Yep. Okay, and here we go. Kareem bringing the ball up again. Dino's open. Stolen oh. by Grant. Grant steals the ball. Pressuring. Layup. And ah, there it is. 10-5 already. Five-point lead. Looks like they did a couple roster changes, uh, Mickey, during the timeout. Robert gets it inside, and Alex throws it away. Yeah, um, I think they did make some changes. And uh, a lot of jitters out there today, but both teams are capable of really lighting it up. Grant with another shot, missing the rebound. Rebound Aaron. Aaron. Oh, I, I thought he was going to shoot the three on that one, Mickey. He was open. He's got the ability, but Aaron's a team player. He's going to look for the uh, for the easy shot. They're smart ball players out there. Donnie running the Don to the left. I think Don might have thrown it out. You know, looking at Don like that is reminding me there's actually two pairs of father-son, actually three pairs of father-sons out there. We've never seen that before. Hidama's out there. Uh, he's going to be playing early, later with his son. Phillip with the jumper, missing. Ooh. And, of course, Don with his two sons. And I think that ball might have gone out, and it's going to stay with Red. Looks like Aaron uh, Aaron actually stepped out on that one. Yeah. So the ball stayed down here on the red side with 10 minutes remaining in the first quarter. Blue leading 10-5. Both teams definitely a little bit nervous out there today. But I can see the intensity in their eyes. They're taking this seriously. Yes, Mickey, you are absolutely right on this one. But I'm glad that we can all get together on Independence Day to play a great game It's fun game to be basketball. out here, isn't it? Fourth of July. Phillip kicks it back to Robert. Robert, Robert goes around the drive. Inside to Phillip. Phillip with the bunny. In and out. Well, he just can't oh, hit those. Alex with the rebound. Alex is a hustler. Missing. And Looks I think like the ball might have gone out of bounds. But Alex, he can do that. He is a hustler, I'll tell you. Good ball player. Solid. Always like having him on my team. You know, if I were still playing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you retired how many years ago? It's been a while. Oh, it's been a long time. But I'm happy to see these guys out here making me proud. And here's Gavin looking to Dino. With He'll shoot Gavin. a three. Oh. That one's in and out. He's capable of making those. Robert with the rebound. Robert, did he get fouled? Ball, that I think the out. ball slipped out of his hands, and Don came up with it. Donnie looking for the long pass, but they decided to slow it up. Glenn. Down to Glenn. Back to Don. Dino putting some pressure on Donnie. And Gavin, they are overplaying. I hope they don't get caught with that. Aaron back to Gavin. Gavin will shoot that three. Oh, rebound to Robert. I'm sorry, I said Gavin. I meant Grant. And I'm sorry, I do make it mix up. Robert flying down the court. Loses the ball. They're gets it back. Back, back out to Dino. Down. Hiding for that three. In oh. and out. Rebound Glenn. Again, Donnie settling things down. That's experience for you. Kicking it out to Danny. Danny for a long one. In and out. And rebound. Oh, I think it was out on Aaron on that one. What do you think? Yep, went out on Aaron, and then uh, red team's going to start off with it. You know, these guys, 
this is a different game for them. Usually they're playing half court. Today it's oh, the, did you see that whiz right <laughs> past us, Nikki? That ball went right past us, almost hit us, and it looks like the red team couldn't uh, gather that pass. I actually got to get another drink. I spilled it. <laughs> All right, now I think we're going to probably see the father-son combination on the red team for the first time. Hiram coming in with his son Adrian Gabriel, and. This Adrian Gabriel, is, he's, there's a story behind him. Uh, yeah, i actually seen him on, um, on the internet. Now, what's happening is this young man was actually scouted since he was about seven years old. Aaron with a three, missing. He was scouted since he was about seven years old, and then they decided to bring him up early to pick up some experience on this level. And it reminds me a lot of the U.S. Olympic team inviting Anthony Davis to play with the uh, Olympic team in the 2012 Olympics. And I'm actually glad, I think, that the red team did bring him up because I think they are short... On the depth, on the um, the depth on chart, bench. they're going to need him, and he doesn't have to do much out there, but he's just got to get some experience. All right, Glenn with his first three of the day, no good rebound. rebound Alex. Alex taking it up, looks like he's going to go all by himself, and with that is a oh. wacky wild shot by Alex. Maybe he was trying to draw a follow. follow that us. might go on Sports Center's <laughs> not top ten. <laughs> well, you know, Alex, um, he is a Russian. And he is used to playing a different style of ball. And in Russia, uh, you know, in the communist days and things like that, I guess they shot a little bit more creatively. Wrong and there's the shot. Wow, he now missed the whole basket. You don't see that. Alex with another Alex, rebound. Oh, he misses a bunny. He now with another rebound. And he misses a bunny. What is going on? I think we need to check that rim. <laughs> there's some nerves here, I think. Something's going on. All right. Grant Almost nearly stolen steal. by his brother. Donnie picks it up into the corner for Aaron. Aaron... Penetrating. Oh, oh good steal no, by no, Hiram. No. Hiram out to Gavin. Avin down the, looking for Adrian Gabriel. Oh, what? The, did he just get cross-checked? <laughs> it looked like it. Apparently the ball, though, went out of bounds, and it will be long to the blue team. He couldn't keep his hands there on actually, it. If, Mickey, there actually was a um, whistle there. We did not hear it, but it looks like they are giving the red team back the ball. Either that or the ball went out of bounds. It's hard to say. Let's start it up. Kareem up top. Kareem. Asking Hidam to give him some space inside. Cuts he in. Backboard. Almost. Out of bounds. And the ball will... Looks like it's going to go to the blue team now. I, I don't know what's going on there. I mean, Kareem is very good um, with his finesse. Just throwing it in. Well, I can tell you there's definitely some differences in this game. Not only is it full court, as we mentioned earlier... Um, I was out there earlier before the game, and I noticed there seemed to be some dead spots on that floor when you dribble the ball. The surface is different. We got another long jumper by uh, by Grant, and it went off the rim. Rebound, Alex. Another rebound by Alex, and another uh, uh, another shot by Alex. I think that was a shot. No good. Somebody needs to take him to the side and speak to him and ask him what is he doing. He might cost the red team the game. Now, he's a strong ball player. I wouldn't be surprised if before this one's over, he'll make it up for his team as the blue team throws it away again. With the turnover, he was looking for Glenn, but Glenn was not ready. You know, it, I'm surprised we're seeing so many turnovers, but I guess I shouldn't be. As I said, they're not used to running full court and like they're this. they're actually not used to their teammates. They're normally on different teams. That That's true. That's very true. And now, as we were talking, the red team threw the ball away again. <laughs> so, you know... It's an exercise in futility as far as the passing goes, but I, I can't help but say that things have got to get better. All right, we got another three from the corner oh. for Aaron, I believe it was. It yeah, was Aaron, Aaron the popped bench. it. He was off camera there. He was so far out, and he hits a three. And look at this. This score is getting out of hand right now for the red team. They're bound wait, by wait, eight. Wait, uh, Kareem out of nowhere. What? Look at Kareem. You know, he just casually stepped up and popped that three. That's his it? first three. I think the blue team did not think he was going to shoot that three. Yeah, the red hadn't uh, hadn't threatened much besides Dino. They needed that one, boy. 13 to 8. Here we now, go, Don. Out to Aaron again. Will he shoot another three? He does. Oh. Rebound Jeff, and there is a Jeff, foul. Jeff doing what Jeff does, being in the right place at the right time, making the tough rebounds. And I think he got bumped on that one, and I think they, during the shot, I think it was. Yeah. He, they're going to give him free throws. Excuse me, Ariel, can you sit down? <laughs> All right, there we go. Thank you. Yeah, Ariel, looking back at you, you guys go back a long way. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Ariel, how you doing today? He was just here next to the booth with us, sharing a moment. And the foul shot's coming for Jeff, and uh, I think he's about a 65% foul shooter. Yep. I think he's going to have these two nailed. But he did surprise me at the three-point contest earlier today with five. Yeah, maybe that three-point shooting contest warmed him up for the free throws. We'll have let's, to see. Let's go. Number one. Oh, in and out. 
That might be the only rebound of the game for JP. No, it didn't count. A lot of talk going on. Another well, strategy is what it is, Dino. Uh, Jerry, <laughs> there's a strategy going on here. Another miss. Heat on with a strong rebound, and the red team bringing it down. Here comes Robert. Cross court pass by Robert. Dino was open for a moment. Back to Kareem. Little Kareem. push shot in the middle by Kareem. Oh, in and out. Out of bounds. Blue team going back to the red team. I think it might stay down this end. They're trying to decide. We don't know who it went off of. It's going to stay down here with red. Red team will Looks like the check defense them. for the blue and red team today happens to be the zone defense. Phillip, another low jumper, missing it. We got about five minutes left in the first quarter. Aaron bringing it down on the left side. Aaron's dangerous. Down the middle. Smooth. Jumper. Oh, oh. a little too short. Was he trying to do an alley oop to somebody? <laughs> yeah, it's possible. He had good form in there, and it was so short you almost think it wasn't a shot. Robert right. bringing the ball down, JP pressuring. Robert got looking Kareem for an on the opening. Left, it seems like. oh, Robert double Iran. teamed out to Hidam. Hidam to Phillip. Phillip now inside. Pump fake. That should go in. In and out. Tipped up by Phillip. Oh, no, Hidam. Oh. Blocked by RL. You had three inside shot opportunities for the red team there, and they just wouldn't go down. I mean, the only good thing for the red team on this one is they're getting rebounds and they're continuing the shooting. I believe it's going to go in eventually. Yeah, well, this caliber of players, you can't expect them to be missing like this the whole game. It's got to be nerves and the change in the uh, court surface. We've still seen some pretty good plays out there today so far. All right, Hiram inside to Kareem. Kareem pump fake. Kareem misses his little jumper, and yeah, Hiram, like might have been another miss, <laughs> missed inside. Phillip with the rebound. Kareem looking for the open into Phillip. Phillip with the turnaround. In and out. Out and out of bounds team. again. And I believe it's going to stay down this end. I think oh, it did go it off. Yeah, I think it did go off one of the blue players. Well, I don't know about you, but so far, it's, uh, even though there's been a, a lot of mistakes, it's still been exciting. It's been intense. Very entertaining. It seems like the crowd is still cheering. Yeah, they're into this game, without a doubt. Kareem, Kareem with a scoop layup. shot, and I've seen him make a lot of those, and I think he might have been fouled on that shot. It, it has to be, uh, Mickey, because he would normally make that shot. That's one of his favorites, the... Uh, the scoop shot, and I've seen a lot of them go in. He's explaining. I think he's telling someone how he got pushed out there. He's about an 83% uh, free throw shooter for the season. Yeah, and I know he's made coming into this game. I think he's made about four or five in a row. So, um, taking his time, as professionals usually do. Whoa, what happened there? Uh, you might need more practice, Mickey. Yeah, well that one should, Yeah, another one. Like 0 for 2 wait, wait, at the foul line. Rebound Dino. Wait. There happened to be a foul on the floor. I think there might have been. Was that a shooting foul as well? No, he wasn't shooting. No, he I don't believe so. Maybe. He got pushed. But the ball is staying on this side of the court. Now, these guys uh, are not paid. They do not get paid for doing this. You know, even though the ticket prices were high, they're out there just to showcase their talents. It's, it's a very great showcase of talent all across the world. Oh, ah, there's RL's long arms again getting in the way. He brings it down. Iram comes for the steal. Into Aaron. Aaron into Jeff. Good oh, give and go. Defense. Beautiful give and go. Jeff to Aaron. Two uh, guys that are really big team players, and that's what they've got to do. Red team needs to hurry up. They're down by seven. They've been down for most of this game. Robert with the shot. Off the back. He likes those backboard shots. Alex with the rebound. No, that's Phillip in there. And oh, Phillip gets right. two shots. Hiram. Kareem with the rebound. Finally, he, I mean, sorry, Hiram with the rebound. And finally, they make the chip shot. But as you mentioned earlier, Red are crashing the boards. They're getting those offensive rebounds. They're killing Blue on that. And then there's Aaron with another Aaron. three. Aaron. The th my keys are actually <laughs> wow. coming true. Because look, the three-pointers are actually You did say that. The keys to the game, three-point shooting for the blue team. And Aaron has put his team up by eight now. 18 to 10 with 2.54 left. Oh, Iran tried to give it in to Robert, but it was knocked out of bounds by Ariel. I think that's two possessions in a row where Ariel has got his long arms. That's why they call him the slithering snake. Yeah. He's got those long arms. Yeah. He's certainly capable of doing damage in there. And he's a valuable defensive player. All right, there's Danny going down with Ariel in the zone defense. They're talking it through. It looks like they might have a sub. Yeah, I think there's some sort of defensive. I noticed it seems like the red team's been playing zone the entire game, and blue it looks like they started off man-to-man, -man, and maybe they're going to try and switch things up. Although, 
They've only allowed Red 10 points up to this point. 10 yeah, points. They've actually played pretty well. Or possibly the offense has been playing pretty really well. Gavin uh, driving, and I think Gavin might have been hacked on that one. Here we go. The yeah, the they're going to give Gavin. The point shooter winner is up for free throws. Yep, they're going to give Gavin a couple of shots at the line here. He needs to pick these up because the red team, the outside game has been failing them. The inside game has been failing them. The passing has been failing them. Fortunately, they have offensive rebounding, and their defense has been okay. And they're actually only down by eight with all those mistakes. Oh, in and, in and out. out. Looks like Dino and Alex are talking strategy. Yeah, there's Alex going in for the rebound. And uh, Gavin rebound. gets his own rebound. Oh, he should And shot there's that RL up. again with those long arms. JP with the, with the up, oh, pass to um, Grant. Grant to JP, JP outside to Don. Donnie, patient into his son. Grant. With the floater. The floater short. And uh, he may have been pushed. I think he was pushed before the shot. It looks like it. With the replay that we just saw, Mickey, it looks like they will be checking it up. All right, so Blue will be inbounding. Blue seems to be trying to run an offense a little more, and uh, that might be helping them. We'll see. Danny back out to Gavin. They've given Gavin a lot of those shots. He makes, he shoots another one, misses. Rebound, Gavin. He's been all over the court today as well. I think that three-point shooting contest victory was really, uh, really helped him out. Phillip outside into Alex. Alex back to Robert. Robert with the push shot, and oh. he finally gets a shot to go. Looks like we might have some little more um, scoring going on now. Looks a little better. Well, they have to get Robert going, that's for sure. RL inside, easy layup, and that's uh, oh. in and out. Out of bounds. What a lot of people don't know is Ariel is assist first, shoot second. He does do that. He's a very good defensive player. We've talked about his long arms before. Danny inside. Danny, nice move. Oh, he went right around Robert with the right hand off the backboard. That's what he can do. You gotta, you gotta mark him. You've gotta stay on him. You see Kareem on the side, cheering on his, uh, his team. Dino in the corner. Left in the game. Dino for another three. In and out. In and out. Rebound. Red. Gavin again with the rebound. Minute ten left now. Robert short on his jumper. Philip short on his. They're getting rebound. Philip with another rebound, and they continue to rebound. Dino outside. Will he shoot again? He does. He nails oh, it. Finally, with under a minute remaining. That was a big bucket at a big time. Boy, did they need that one. Whew. Twenty fifteen now. And Don's taking it up. Dino out I'm to sorry. JP. Out to JP. JP to Don. There's Danny. Will he hit another three? Oh, and you can't leave him alone. They can cut the lead down to two if they get a three. Philip is stressing patience here. Down to Robert. Collapsing in on Robert is the defense. They're taking I their time. Dino with a three with 30 open. seconds. And he hits another one. You cannot leave Dino by himself like that. With under 25 seconds remaining, it looks like uh, Blue might be trying to he go for the last shot. two threes within a 25-second span. And suddenly, look at that score. It 20 to 18. Down by two. Only down by two. And here's Grant setting it up. Will he? He'll shoot another floater. Not, not really bad shot by him. Alex with Couple another strong left. rebound. Couple seconds left. Dino shooting. Oh. oh, and he's off. But you know what? Great first quarter. Okay, we're back with this second quarter. Hidam will take the first jumper of the second quarter, oh. and he nails one to tie it up. 20 apiece. There we go. Boy. Now it's back. <laughs> yeah, you know, the blue team is, was up most of this game between seven, eight points most of the game, and now red suddenly is pulled up even with a couple of threes by Dino, a jumper by Hidam. Well, what I did see, Mickey, during the uh, break, I saw Kareem talking to the red team. Is that so? Gavin missing. And what do you think? Do you think Kareem was just trying to settle him down a yeah. little bit or exactly what was he going on? He said they there? got three more quarters settled down. You guys are all here for a reason. You guys are all stars. You know what I do see today? Look at Jeff's socks. Very patriotic. <laughs> Jeff, those are interesting 4th of July socks. Very professional. I like them. <laughs> all right. Jeff looking for it. Patience, patience. Aaron with the two. Aaron in and out. Oh. And Jeff with the rebound. Oh, and there is an injury. Little injury. We'll be back right after these messages. We're back after that injury timeout. Gavin looks like he's good to go. It's just uh, I think he just got the wind knocked out of him. Yep, that's what happened. Grant working it around. Behind the back pass. Aaron. Back to Grant. 
Two brothers covering each other there. Jeff in the three-point. Aaron. They're being patient. And Grant with another three. And that's in. Oh, off the backboard. Off the backboard. Beautiful little jumper by Grant. He, get, he has the stroke, too, sometimes. He and his brother, both of them. Grant, uh, Gavin bringing the ball up, and it's tipped. Good defense by Aaron. Hiram apparently acknowledging that he followed Jeff on that rebound. I think they wanted to regroup on defense. So we got an exciting game. Blue once again, though, pulling ahead. 23-20. On that jumper, a three-point jumper by Jeff Grant. Looking. And Grant might take another one here. No, good little fake, but it out of bounds to Danny. He was trying to get it to Danny. All righty, the Reds taking it out. Gavin's bringing it up. 23-20. Just started uh, second Alex quarter. with the long jumper. Alex long can three. sometimes hit those threes. Gets his own rebound. And another missed jumper, but Hiram is there to clean it up. And again, the, the rebounding continues. For the blue the team missed Danny on that one because he was on the floor in the sideline. Well, he got knocked out of the picture there. Speaking of Danny. Taking it in with the pass. Back to Danny. Back to Danny. That's what they got to do. That's well, good defense though by Hiram. And again, another turnover. Danny was looking for Aaron, it looked like. I think Hiram knows Danny's dangerous. The two captains were up, faced against each other for a moment there. And they collapsed on Danny. Didn't have much Alex chance. Alex with another three. Alex missing another one. And ball is out of bounds. Uh, do, you do you think those are good shots by Alex out there? Or should they be a little more patient? I think... Um, it depends. I mean, on that one, he is open, but he's been missing a few. He should go in at least get his confidence with a layup or so. Yeah, he does have to hit one. I, I would I would agree with you there. They, they need to get some easier shots. Because that is a momentum downer on that one. Yeah, it does kill him. All right, Alex taking it in with and his third attempt in a row. <laughs> yeah, that one was missed. Glenn with the rebound, though. Oh. And it was out of bounds Dino again. almost with the steal. Glenn's getting his share of rebounds in there. And he can really, you know, he, he, he might not think he's a tough under, underneath player, but he can. he's smart and he uh, uses his body, uses his position, and gets those rebounds. Another steal. Did you know Mr. Glenn goes by Freshly? Yeah, on the court, they do know him as Freshly. There's a story behind that. We'll go into that a little later. As Danny comes down, beautiful pass into Grant. Back to Jeff. And Jeff gets surrounded, but good ball movement good inside. Good defense to get it out of there. Oh! And Aaron nails another three. Another three by Aaron. And Blue goes up by four now. That was hurtful on that one. The Red did have them all covered. Yeah, Blue goes up by several points. Red will uh, bring it up even, and then Blue uh, goes out ahead again. And it looks like oh, a possible with steal. steal. What happened with Aaron that? Aaron again with the ball. Aaron with a little turn off the backboard. He almost had another one. Where's the, where is the rest of the blue team? They should have had more help. Alex, another shot, and that one was a little short. Air ball. Look at him. <laughs> he, he's taking himself out of the game right now. He's disappointed, and I understand. He's got higher expectations for himself. But looks, uh, we'll be back right after this. Looks like JP called timeout for the blue yep. team. Little timeout. We'll be right back. Back after the timeout. I had to get a drink on that one. <laughs> Was Alex making you make it your lose your cool there? Yeah, it's all, all right. right. We're back. <laughs> all right, I'll back to Donnie. Donnie holding it for a second. Instructing and Don takes his first three of the game and oh. he misses. Boy, you always expect to see those go in, don't you? And I'm surprised Don has not taken more threes. And oh, Dino, Dino with, with, with the, the fast, layup, fast break layup. They needed that. I told you they need rebounds and fast breaks is where they're going to kill them on. That's where they got it, and Red can score quickly. That's for sure. Don Tarrell, nice little play. Ah. Donnie, that's where he's making up. He may not be hitting his threes, but he is a thinking man ball player. And Blue goes up by four, 28-24. About ten minutes left here in, in the, the second deep. quarter. Dino, another oh. three. I, they, they keep leaving him open. They cannot do that. I think they're, by the end of the day, they're going to be very, very uh, sorry that they, that they did. Yes, uh, you're absolutely right on that one. And I don't know, did that ball go out or did he get, he get hit? I think it went out. Went out of bounds, blue. And here we go. Dino. Oh, oh, he faked it. Into Robert. Robert working it inside. Kicking it back out to Dino. Dino stopping on a dime. And oh, oh hits, misses another he three. He did the Steph Curry back. Yeah, he really did. That was a little. Don brings it up. 
And I, and I think they threw it out of bounds. They were looking for JP, but JP thought it was going to Ariel. And, and right, right away, right in with a rebound, and Hidam was going to try and take advantage. Hidam is strong inside. If anybody can move inside, he can. Robert, Robert with a short jumper and another miss. I think Robert's probably missed almost every shot. He's Alex with the rebound. No, that's Philip in there. Philip, I keep getting them both mixed up. I think they, but they are from they're across both, the seas. They're both from Eastern Europe. All righty. I think Philip is the Serbian sniper. He's known as the Serbian sniper. Oh, oh, Dino with a beautiful try there. But was that RL again? Yeah. It was, wasn't it? He seems to get either his long feet or long arms into play every time. Yeah, he's really got a long one. Uh, yeah, ba -ching. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back up top. Robert to Kareem. Kareem looking to fill up inside. Tried to get Robert. Oh, what? He just who? stuck it in there. Guess who? RL with the layup. Oh, oh if he could man. just finish that. That's what she said on that one as well. <laughs> yes, uh, she could have finished that one. Robert inside looking for a space. They're collapsing on him inside. Robert another little shot. jumper, another miss. Phillip with the rebound, and he gets and that in. one. No, I think there might have been oh, a foul. Foul on the plate. Clock needs to stop. Yeah, the clock didn't stop, but that's okay. I think that uh, they they gave him that point apparently. So it's 28-26, and they've also given Red the ball out front. So I don't know if there was a possibly a flagrant foul in there or something. There might have been, but that looks like what's happened. They've pulled within two. It's 28-26. Bringing it in. Green. Green with the two in and out. Actually, he had his foot behind the line. It would have been a three. Okay, and then Sir. Oh, oh, they are having some costly turnovers, the blue team. You know, I've seen Don throw the ball away because I think he's trying to anticipate where his teammates are going to be, and they're not where he expects them to be. So I don't know if there's fatigue setting in, possibly, something like that. I wonder if there's trust issues. He needs to trust in his team. Yeah, maybe they need to have some sort of a powwow at halftime, get together and bring the team a little closer. Behind the back pass to Green, back to Robert. Back to Robert, and in to Phillip, who misses. But Hiram. Hiram, good rebound, but he misses it. Boy, these are shots you don't expect this team to miss. Too many layups. And Danny <laughs> threw JP's hands. Good try for Danny. Here comes Kareem. Kareem to Robert. Robert to the middle, in. and Robert finally hits That's a jump shot. That's his shot, Mr. Automatic. And we've tied it up with 8.20 left. We've got a tie. Blue pulls ahead, red ties. Blue pulls ahead, red ties. Kareem up on Don with the pick. Donnie inside, there oh. we go. That's the kind of jumper you expect to see out of Don. Smooth, beautiful, didn't hit any of the rim. Dino's taking it up for the first time. And once again, Blue is has pulled ahead. And that's a long jumper, I believe, by Dino. In and Ariel out. with his long hands again. Yep, he gets those hands in everywhere. Donnie slowing it up. Okay, out to Ariel. Ariel with the back with to the Jeff. Now with Jeff and Ariel out there together, you got two good rebounders, but guys that don't don't like to shoot much. But they need Danny to get takes in, in the paint on those. They're outside on the three pointers. Right on that. Red bringing it down. Robert. Out to back, Hidam. To Hidam. Hidam. back to Robert. Oh, and RL, RL again steals it. And another layup. And another miss. Mm. RL has had that happen to him a couple of times today. He's played great defensive ball only to see his layup miss. Oh, and there he is. Dino, Dino with another three. With the, the, dagger. Crowd. the crowd, the crowd goes is, wild. The crowd is excited about that three. Dino has pulled red ahead 31 to 30. JP's first attempt of the half. Boy, it's exciting in here. That crowd is just, you're just feeling it. You can feel it. Gavin with the drive. The kick to Dino. And Dino's not shy. Oh. oh misses that one. Back out to Phillip. They Phillip's. got numbers on the side here. Phillip should hit that one. There it and is. Three. Finally. And now suddenly, Red has gone up 33-30. to 30. I think that, that is their biggest lead of the game. Gavin going down. And there's Phillip with another three, and he hits it. Now Phillip is starting to get on fire. And look at this, Red has suddenly been up 36 to 30. We knew that that bad shooting would not continue. Oh, oh long three by Grant, he answers. And it's 36-33. Looks like we have another three point contest. Yeah, suddenly no one's missing. We've had hits by Robert, by Phillip, uh, by uh, Grant. Everyone's just hitting everything now. Robert 
Back to Alex. Uh oh, this might break our streak. Oh, and it does a little short by him. Hold on, I need to take another drink. <laughs> Alex is uh, making you drink here today. Hope you're able to finish the broadcast. All Got right, us carrying you out of the building. Here's Aaron. Aaron's you can dangerous. Hear the, you can hear the people on the end. And there's Donnie looking inside to Aaron. Aaron with the long three, and Aaron hits another three. You can't leave him alone, and we've got a tie game. This is exciting. Both clubs back and forth, back and forth. Wow, Mick, I haven't seen these many three-pointers uh, since the last time I was um, playing basketball. Yeah, there's Alex into Robert, who misses an easy shot. Oh, good defense. Yeah, but the ball will belong to the blue team. So, you know, Several minutes in now into the second quarter, we've got a tie game. What are your impressions? I think actually the blue team did come out firing in the beginning, um, but they have calmed down. I think the red team, complete opposite. They went from slowing down to bringing up the pace, and I think we're now at a standstill. Well, the good thing is, you notice after, well, Aaron, another three, misses that one. Up. After the, blue, uh, the red team pulled ahead, uh, blue did not let that get to them. They've come back and tied it. Robert with Robert the shot. With a jumper. Uh-oh, Robert's starting to heat up now, too. He hits his two, the typical backboard jumper from mid-range. 38-36 on this Independence Day broadcast. Extravaganza. Now Donnie from three-point range. Look, that should be in. Wide little, open. I can't believe short, he was not making that. You don't expect Don to miss those very often. And looks like Is the ball a, oh, was thought, stolen. Yeah, and it almost yes. looked like a clear path to the basket, it seemed like. Yeah, and I think they'll be checking it up here. Blue ball. This is the kind of ball I think we expected from the beginning. Good passing. Grant, he's capable of hitting those. Oh, little air long. ball. Here comes the red team. JP. Stolen by JP. Back to JP. Easy layup. Oh, oh he looks like Alex out there. 0 oh for 2. There's Phillip. Yeah, with the pass to Beautiful. Phillip. Beautiful. Now Phillip has heated up. I think he's hit, he's hit three of his last three. And you can't, you can't leave him alone. The red team, Don he's checking the time. We got three minutes left here in they the half. Colin Picasso. Every time he's in the paint, he paints up plays. That's very true. I like watching these guys inside. There's Aaron with a smooth jumper. In and out. Did you see how the red team had three people in the paint getting that rebound? Well, they they have concentrated on rebounding and it shows. Dino. Oh, beautiful fake on the three, but Alex hitting the side of the backboard. Dino looks upset. And Grant with the little layup. And now their blue team's threatening. 40, 38. Robert with a little jumper inside, and he's hit another one. So Robert's hit the three or four jumpers now. 42, 38, Mickey. And the red team is holding their own. Danny with the pick. Grant looking cross court. Cross court to Aaron. Aaron, Donnie's wide open on this side, but Danny's wide open on his end. A little long. Red team got lucky on that one. They looked like they were caught looking on defense. Red team gathers it up. Gavin into Alex, and I think it might have gone off of Alex's hands. It did, and it, Blue will come back with it. All right, they're playing defense. They're playing very hard I there. think before the game started, both teams did agree they were not going to keep statistics on the turnovers today, and I think that was probably a wise decision. Yes. All right, here comes Red again. Robert looking like a man possessed. Passes it out. Gavin, the three-point shooting contest champion, missing. Iran with the rebound. Heat up. Patient in there against Danny, and he was able to power it up. 44-38. They are taking a six-point lead. Now, Hiram was, was, was in the league when I was still playing, and I can tell you from first hand, he's a strong, strong inside, hard to stop. I can't believe he is still continuing to play. Yeah, he's up there in age, but uh, it hasn't hurt him at all, as you can see. Aaron. Another jumper. But a rare miss. And Hidam gets the rebound. Hidam is definitely making his presence felt in there. Kareem up top. Kareem with the, with the loader. loader. He can make those too, and he might have been fouled. Apparently he was bumped. Red team takes the ball. Oh, Iram with yeah, the miss. Hidam's waking up now. First I saw Robert wake up, then I saw Philip wake up, and now Hidam is doing his part. Everyone's getting in on the act. Just wake up and smell the and coffee. Oh, Danny Lord. with another long three, and he needed that because they had gone down. 46-41. Here we Danny, go. Danny, the captain, pulling up with the three. And there's Alex. Will he hit one? Less than a minute before halftime. Robert gathers, and yes. Robert nails another one. There it's you court. go. 48-41. Oh, and a Gavin. steal. Uh-oh. That might have gone out of bounds on Gavin. 
You see Kareem coming out to his teammates saying yeah, great D. Dino too was excited, and I guess it did go off of Gavin, but great effort out there. 35 seconds left in the half. Blue team bringing it up. Danny looking for the opening. Back to Donnie. Donnie trying to get Aaron inside. Back to Danny, and he can hit that three. Little shuttle pass to Aaron. There's only got to be a few oh, seconds Aaron left. There we go. by Robert, and now Gavin with the layup, and he hits the layup. Oh, that was a you know, nice one for the red team with 11 seconds left. That was a good play. Left. They pulled it out, and look at this. Suddenly, the red team is up by nine. And the Five red team, seconds left. they may be going for the last shot of the half. And Robert throws it away as Donnie comes up. That's the end of the first half. And welcome back to the halftime show. I am Mickey Storm, along with my partner, Jerry Sutterfield. And we're happy to be back with you at halftime. And Jerry, can you give me your impressions, please, of the first half? How do you think the guys played? Well, they played very well during, during the end of the second quarter. The first quarter went real slow, but I'm very um, proud of these guys. Yeah, I think uh, in the beginning I expected to see some jitters, but I think there were a little more jitters than I originally expected. The turnover rate was quite high. Um, the, the They started off shooting very slowly, but I think they started heating up as we went along. Yes. Now, when we look at the halftime statistics, um, so far uh, the high scores for the blue team are Aaron with 14, Grant with 13, and Danny with 8. Now, for the red team, Dino at with 14 points, Huron with 10 and Robert with 10. I think uh, if you look at the statistics, there are a couple of things that really stick out. First of all, the rebounding. The total team rebounds between the red team and the blue team. Red team with 46 rebounds at the half. Blue team, 18. Yeah. It seems like Alex was for the red team. but He didn't have any points, but he did have 11 rebounds. So he did contribute on the rebound side. Yeah, that 0 for 12 shooting did hurt their shooting percentage. But the, I, I had a feeling he would be able to make it up in other ways. Uh, as far as the three-point shooting, though, look at this. Uh, the blue team considerably ahead, nine three-pointers in that first half, only six for the red team. And surprisingly, the red team, four of those six came from Dino's hands. I don't think that's a surprise at all. I think no. that's what we expect from a shooter like him. Although Aaron, I know he's a good shooter, but I didn't expect that he could pull out that many. Uh, four, but Grant also helped with three. And, and just as you said, the blue team is relying on the three-pointers, the red team, the rebounding. Mm -hmm. I think I'd like to see the red team uh, hit some more of those uh, those bunnies that they've been missing. Correct. If they if they can get in those open layups, they did have a couple um, fast break points um, with Dino. Um, but I think it will be a great half um, going into the third quarter. I'm ready for it. Again, um, just real quickly, just to summarize it. When we look here, we notice that the blue team was ahead in the first quarter, 20-18. to 18. The red scored 32 points in that second quarter. To They're up by nine points. Is that an insurmountable type of a lead, do you think, for the uh, red team? Or can no. the blue team pull up? And The blue team has a lot of depth. I think they can come back. Um, I think it's going to be a, an interesting um, third and fourth quarter. I wouldn't be surprised going into the fourth if the blue team has the lead. Um, now, just one last Last observation about the red team. I, I see here Danny only shot seven times and Don only shot three times. I think you got you need those guys to, to, to participate a little more. Shoot I think a they will more. step up. Um, they did pass it, yeah. um, but I think it's going to be an, an interesting game. All right. Well, we will certainly be back uh, very shortly to see what happens in the second half. All right. It's going to be a blast. Okay, and welcome back. Everybody ready for the second half to begin. Robert will take the first shot of the second oh, half, and nice. he nails it. And now the red has gone up by 11, Dino. Here we go. Kareem uh, with the check. I'm sorry, Jerry. Not Dino. No, that's okay. I think we did have Dino during um, <laughs> halftime, so yep, it's okay. He was over here uh, talking to us. Blue with its first possession of the second, and Danny is not shy about Downtown. taking the third. Jeff with his uh, socks going on for the rebound. <laughs> yeah, and there's Glenny winning out. He hasn't come alive yet either, but I certainly expect some more out of him. So it's halftime. Half his second half has just begun. Kareem looking for the pass, and I think it might have been deflected, and the ball will stay down here with the red team. 11-point lead. It's looking pretty um, commanding for the red team. You know, I was afraid of that when I was mentioning that at halftime that the red team was up by nine. I hope Blue's got the kind of game that they need to get back in it. All right, Rom's down low. Philip to Robert. Robert, the little backboard jumper, no good. Usually expect him to make those. And Danny with the rebound. Danny flying down the court, trying to get it to, to uh, Jeff. But it looks Dino got his hands in there, and here comes Philip. Uh-oh, Dino. Oh, I thought Dino would do it, but JP comes up with the steal. 
Here comes Glenn. Glenn with the long pass to Ariel. And Ariel, like a blur. He misses another layup, unfortunately. Hiram with the rebound. Red straight down, and Phillip with the easy <laughs> layup, but he misses. Mm. JP comes up with the ball again. I'm glad to see JP is active in there. That is one costly turnover there. That was an easy layup for uh, Phillip. If he couldn't make it, he should have waited. Well, RL mixed one down the other end as well. RL now will shoot again. Off the backboard. Robert with the rebound. Red has the ball. Dino coming down on the right side. Wouldn't be surprised if Dino puts a move on here. Here's the, the with layup. With the foul. Whoa, what a shot by Dino! An acrobatic, underhanded, under the other side of the basket layup. And those are the kind of highlights we expected to see today. He's, he's actually, he's the, you know, dark horse for the red team, it seems like. I wouldn't be surprised if he's not one of the candidates so far for MVP, the way he's been keeping the red team in there. Mm. Not only does he make the two, but he comes through, I think, with the first foul shot of the game. Three, he, he's not going to shoot the three-pointer, then he will hit the three-point the hard way. The old-fashioned way, the old-fashioned three. 14-point lead now for red and blue. They've got to find some answers here. They've got to find some answers. Down by 14. Danny can hit those threes, but Dino knows enough to go out on him. Danny with the beautiful pass to RL, and RL missing another layup. Danny with his uh, another rebound. JP. JP cautious inside. Back out to Danny. Danny kicks it outside. With the long pass, Dino with the long three. Off the backboard, in and out. And now here comes uh, Danny down with the ball. And Danny moving it, being conservative with it. They're still down by 14. Got the pick. Down the RL. And RL was, was uh, bottled up in there. Jeff kicks it out for JP's first, uh, another three attempt. He's long. RL finally hits that little layup. Boy, he needed that one. He is in the right place at the right time. And he's, you know, he's so tall in there, it's hard to, for him not to pick those balls up. That's what he said. And it's 55-43, red over blue. Kareem inside. Kareem looking. Against Danny. Beautiful the, pass inside. Robert, 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 and a nice Robert, little pass oh, into him down, block. but Danny, I think, came from behind and blocked it. Now, the ball movement was nice. Nice little inside passing. But Danny has been playing with Haram a long time and was able to anticipate that. Kareem is very vocal this time. As I see as always. Robert with another jump and another miss. Ariel with the rebound. Seems like he's everywhere. Yep. He's, he's playing a good game. You have to. He's a very strong ball player. That almost was half court violation. Danny into Jeff. Jeff shooting and missing. Jeff shot and missed and then JP got the ball. Now Danny with the long three. Off Beautiful. the backboard. Backboard shot by Danny. And that's exactly what they needed. Wow. Cut the lead you know, to that's nine. That's what captains are for. Yes. Robert now inside. Off the backboard. No good. And Jeff with another rebound. Blue is slowly working their way back oh, into it. Oh, it looks like there's a steal by Dino. Yeah, Dino did steal. Then Kareem with a layup. His layup is in and out. Yep, yeah, and gl Mr. Freshly Glenn. I'm glad we're not keeping statistics on the number of missed layups. It, it's, it's almost like the score, possibly. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Brothers checking up to one another. Back to Alex, which we haven't seen a lot of offense from him today. And Alex, that looked like it was going to go in there for a second, but I think it's another one that didn't hit anything. He yeah, because the scoreboard did not change. Donnie, back to JP. Jab, JP with his three. That's the three-pointer, and they have worked their way back into this with a three-pointer by I, Danny, I a three-pointer by JP, and hard work by RL. And I know JP is happy on that one, Mickey. Yeah, he hadn't been very lucky. And here's the youngster. Adrian Gabriel brings it inside, gets it to Gavin. Gavin inside to Alex, and Alex hits oh, his layup. Oh, he finally gets it in. That is the kind of uh, layup that might give him some confidence going forward. Don looking for uh, Aaron. Aaron in the corner. Back to JP. Back to Aaron. Aaron with another three. Aaron nails it. And, boy, he is putting on an exhibition today. If you see the smoke out there, he is on fire. He has been throwing in draining threes like they're layups. Great, great game by it Aaron. It seems so now the blue team has changed to man-to-man -to -man coverage. Uh, good observation, Jerry. I believe you're right on that. And just as you say that, they pick up a turnover. Gavin with the inside layup. 
off the rim. Dino with the rebound. Dino starting the three-point. I'm sorry, the fast break. Another layup by Dino. Missed, but Phillip is right there. Phillip. Adrian. The youngster will take his first shot of his career at the big level, and oh. it's a little short, unfortunately. Was a good look, though. And here comes Aaron. Aaron and Gavin working oh. together. Alex working hard as usual. Aaron ends up with the ball. Aaron inside with a little jump layup, and he gets that one to go. They actually just cut the lead to three with under nine and a half minutes. I think we're going to have a timeout here. No, I think we're going to stay here with you. We're going to stay here on the court. Just a slight delay. They were just cleaning the uh, water off the court. We are back on. And Blue bringing the ball down. Again, on the court for Blue, we've got Aaron, JP, Gavin, Glenn, and Don. Here we go with the dribble. Grant and Don, I keep making that mistake. Adrian, Gabrielle. Looking right for his dad. Gets it to Alex. Alex tries to get into Hiram. Hiram, good fake by Hiram. Takes it inside and a nice move. 59-54. And what did I say earlier? That's what captains are for. That is. Danny and Hiram know when their team needs a basket. Blood, sweat, and tears. Oh, nice Gavin cut. Inside to Glenn. Oh, what a great play. Glenn. Aaron to, Aaron to, uh, to, to uh, Grant and Grant to Glenn. And Glenn with the bunny. And Blue has brought it up close to three points. 59-56. Getting close. Looks like we have a quick substitution. Quick change of personnel. Out goes and Adrian. Red team will get it ready. We're, again, we are in the third quarter. You're hearing us live from the Hollywood YMCA. Today is July 4th, 2015. You're here today with Mickey Storm, yours truly, and Jerry Suderville, my partner. Yes, I'm glad to be here with you. Red team. With the layup for that Kareem. That is the Kareem scoop shot that we know and love. He does yes. that on a regular basis. Part of his arsenal. Five-point lead now for Red. They're closing in. Aaron kicks it out to Don. I think Don probably should have shot that. Yep. He makes those. That Back. one he should shoot. There we go. He hurt us. He must have hurt us. Misses it. Aaron coming Gets out of nowhere. Rebound. Tries to get it to Aaron, and Aaron was defending himself, trying to almost to decapitate yeah. it there. Yeah, Alex seemed to be in the right place at the right time. You know, he's almost the equivalent of RL in that sense defensively. He's always around the ball. All right, now we got the check going on. Up to JP, back to Don. Donnie, as always, directing his team, and Aaron throws up another three. And if had that gone ahead gone in, I would have really been impressed. The red team seems they're still playing um, zone defense, starting to, it seems it's paying off. I think Red knows they are in the lead, and all they need to do is play to their ability, and they should be okay. Kareem taking it in. Back Great to pass to Aaron uh, to uh, Hiram, who again Glenn playing good defense inside Alex against with Hiram. The rebound. Kareem oh, taking patient. it in, and that's blocked by Grant. Got a hand on it, and it came back out to Kareem. Kareem outside to Gavin. Gavin faked the three, throws around off the backboard. And he may have been fouled in there. Looks like it. What I'm noticing is they are playing man-to-man -man on Dino. He's not getting as many open three-point looks. It's probably one of the uh, changes they made at halftime to compensate for the fact that Dino was keeping them in the game that first half. Yeah. I think... At, here in the second, in the third quarter, towards the end of the second quarter, and here in the third quarter, uh, it's been a little more um, evenly distributed. I think you've seen contributions by Hidam, by Robert, and by Philip, and even Alex. And uh, that's kind of really what you expected when the game yeah. started. I, I think, think they were just, you know, just looking at each other and saying, you know what, we need to start playing more balanced ball. Gavin hits the follow shot. Score is 62-56, up by six. Alex Missed with the, the second, rebound. But Alex with the rebound, and he's blocked inside. It looked like a double block inside. Captain Danny. Back out to Ariel, back to Don. Don to Grant. He'll shoot up another three, in and out. And it looks like the red loop. team almost had Danny it. And he came back with the rebound. Good pass, to Ariel, and back to Oh! Aaron. That's team basketball. What a beautiful play. The ball did not touch the floor. All three players. Right now, it seems like the MVP looks like it might be going into Aaron's hands. 
Aaron's had a fantastic game, both offensively and defensively. Oh. And there's Kareem with another little scoop shot. He sneaks those in there when you're not least expecting yeah. them, you know? He's very small, but he knows where to get to to shoot it. Yeah, he knows how to get in those holes. Well, that's what she said. <laughs> and now Aaron looking outside to Donnie. Back to Ariel with the and long pass. Ariel that's not... Looks like he got kicked That's ball not in his arsenal to do those long passes. He likes those fancy passes, but... All right, Aaron inside, gets a little mid-range jumper. That one rolls off the Ariel's in, in the spot again to knock it out. Danny into Ariel. Ariel, he's got to get the ball up over his head. He's a tall guy. He's a big presence in there. And uh, we've got to see more out of him inside. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised we haven't seen any dunks yet. Yeah, I'm sure they're here to come. Uh, I haven't counted any. Maybe there's been some I've missed them. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I do believe RL so. into Danny. Uh, and RL trying to be fancy again. Missing. Grant misses his You're shot. On. Get on with another rebound. And there's Dino. Don't leave him alone. Another three. Yeah, oh. Off the board. And RL in the right place again at the right time. RL takes it the whole length of the court. And then I think he might have thrown it away. He should have took it in. Too bad. 64-58. Red with the lead. Phillip back to uh, Gavin. Get was wide open. We didn't see him. Robert oh, outside. Oh, behind the back pass. Back to Kareem. Kareem oh. stretching his head. He gets blocked by RL's long arms inside, and RL turns comes up it with over. it again. Here comes Donnie down the left side, measuring things, and Dino standing in front of us. Jerry, would you talk to Dino and please get him to Dino, move? Dino, please move. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry, for getting Dino out of there. No problem. I just kicked him. And Gavin. Oh, oh, a little short. From this angle, it looked like I might have had a chance. You're Dion coming rebound. inside back to that. Phillip. Phillip in the middle of the lane. Back to Kareem. He can hit that shot. Oh. Uh, close for the cigar. Donnie comes up with it. And Danny gets an easy rebound and a layup. That was too easy and for the blue team. And look at this. Suddenly, Blues is behind only 64 to 60. And Robert gets the ball, nearly stolen, and <laughs> runs into a brick wall. Kareem ends up Kareem with the ball. Kareem is playing smart. He said, let's slow it down, guys. Out to Phillip in the corner. And I think that might have gone off of Hidam's foot. They're playing very sloppy right now. Mickey. It was a good idea, though. All right, and we are now back. Take over the play-by-play. -play. All righty, now we have Don dribbling it up. Back to Aaron. Aaron loses his dribble, takes it in. Back to Danny for three. Rebound. Danny gets his own rebound after all. There we go. Robert comes up with it. Gavin slowing it up. Back to Dino. Can't leave him alone. From far range. Oh, he was way downtown yeah. on that one. Fell in love with that jumper there. Grant all the way to the bucket, and I don't know, he just missed it, I guess. Almost just thought he it. got fouled. It almost looked like it. And there's Dino. He'll shoot another three. That one's oh! in. That That's time he made it. Hey, hey, if you shoot enough of them, they're going to go in, and that guy's got the ability, let me tell you. And at least he took a couple steps in this time. And Red is maintaining that lead, 67-60. Don taking it in. That's the kind of Don shot Don can make. Back out to JP. JP from the corner. <laughs> Hits the corner of the backboard. And oh, a steal. And here comes Dino, one of our MVP candidates, with the layup. Another smooth layup, and Red is up 69-60. Don getting the green light to shoot. Boy, I, you know, Don usually makes all these threes. Every time he lets it go, I think it's going in. JP dribbling in, back out to Don. Donnie playing smart, looking for the opening. Knows, he knows where everybody is on the court. And he, that one was in, in and in, out uh, and in. And in. What, yeah, that's what she that's, said all that, night that long. That is what she said, yeah. Robert bringing it down for Red. With the pick. Good pick. Little jumper. And that was blocked. Beautiful oh, pass beautiful by pass. Din -din -din. And the left-handed layup -din -din. by Robert. And the Red team goes to 71 60. Back that will up be to on 11. Sports Center's top 10. JP, back up to Don. Don again looking for just his spot. Jeff. Into Jeff. With his Jeff patriotic with socks. Pace. JP. Will JP hit one here? No, not yet. Good Glenn. rebound by Glenn off the rim. Glenn usually hits those. Yeah, I'm surprised. He hasn't made a few. He normally will come. 
Gavin driving in. His dad, I think, broke that one up. Yeah. Dad maybe is trying to get back at him for staying out a little too late one of these evenings. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I mean, that's what happens when you play with family. Well, I'm quite satisfied uh, so far. Yeah. Dino's going to go up and check the ball. I mean, it seems like he's been quiet this half, but, you know, there are other teams, and Alex as well. As I said, I think some of the other teammates are finally, you know, using their... Oh, that was um, that was a nice pass to Alex. I think Jeff might have got his foot in there, one of those patriotic socks of his. Yeah, we could just hang him from the Raptors. He's just like bunting on the court. Yeah. Back to Robert. Robert, Robert with, with the jumper, shot. And that one's missed. Oh, nice and one. And I think it was tipped out of bounds. These guys are just not shooting like you, you're used to seeing them shoot. Maybe it's the crowd. Maybe they are not used to shooting in front of 70,000 people. Yeah, and that is today's attendance. 70,642 paid. Those are the ones that we know of. Donnie, long range three. Again, a miss. Alex with the rebound. Alex is scooping up those rebounds like nobody's business. Under a minute. We are in the third quarter, live from Hollywood. Dino looking for another shot, and he's got it. Down long town. that time. Seems like he's getting Alex longer and longer. Alex with another rebound. And Alex with the putback almost had that one. Mr. Freshly, Glenn. Here's Super Aaron. Freshly, Mr. Hostess Twinkie <laughs> with a rebound. Speaking about Twinkies, I think I'm actually hungry. <laughs> Well, partner, as soon as this game's over, if you want, I'll take you out for some pizza. How's Alrighty, that? And then we can watch some fireworks. Sounds good. Happy 4th of July to all our viewers out there. And thank you for tuning in to our Aaron broadcast. Aaron with another sweet-looking three in and out. And that is the end of the third quarter. 71-60, red team. And we will be right back. And welcome back to the YMCA in Hollywood, Florida, July 4th, 2015. In between quarters, the fans were showing their excitement, but we're back for some more exciting basketball action. I see J Dog in the ball game, and he has come out of nowhere. He shot it, a layup, unfortunately, he missed it, but he's going to definitely be an impact for the blue team. I did want to tell you, he was going to start this game, but being late, the coach did have him um, sit out for the first three quarters. It's I, I, What I heard is that his flight got delayed from Denver because of the snow, oh, okay. and I don't think he's going to suffer any kind of uh, penalties for that. In the meantime, Phillip. Scoops up a little uh, layup and puts it back, and the red team is up by 13 now. That might be the biggest lead of the game, of the game so far. Jeff, back to Freshly. Freshly. I think he might have had that block partially or possibly a... Was it he got foul? fouled, it seems like. And Kareem is concerned, rubbing his arm. Seems like they're arguing. Uh, it looks like there's an agreement that they're going to take the ball up top. Blue team down by 13. JP, JP wide his open. I can't long. believe he missed that. Robert taking it down. The red team just seems like they're sitting around. They need to help him out. Uh, he's put, trying to put a little pressure on him. Dino in the corner. Back to Kareem. Kareem using those picks like the veteran he is. And they lost the ball. Blue Jeff. comes up with it. Down to Jay. And uh, Jada Grant and Grant can't hit it. Things are kind of going in slow motion here. In, uh, I can't believe he didn't go in for the layup on that one, Mickey. Yep. I think that might have been a backcourt violation. Yeah, that was a backcourt violation on the uh, on the red team. Sloppy turnovers here, Mickey. Sloppy. Well, nerves are coming into play. I mean, we saw it in the first quarter, but I think second and third quarter they had settled down and were playing a lot better. And here in the fourth, I've noticed that the pace has slowed down a little bit. And they've made careless mistakes. They cannot afford to do that, especially the blue team here in the last quarter. The captains for each team need to get into their team's head and tell them what, this, what they're fighting for. Grant takes the two. A little long. Back Rebound out to Jeff. Jeff. To Jay. That's a kind of sh shot right there. You, you yeah. think of Jay, you think of that shot. I almost thought he was going to pass it back to JP, but he faked me out. Yeah, he can really take uh, take control when he makes those inside drives like that. All right, red team back. Back to Robert, pass Robert, to Dino. Scoop shot to Dino. He took a step backwards on that one, and he almost nailed it. Yeah. I mean, he's 
He's not yeah. shy, is he? Yeah, he does not think when he shoots sometimes. He just, just flings it out there. Do you think he should think sometimes, or do you think it's better not to think? Probably not to think. Okay, well, that sounds good to me. And Glenn, in his element, he nails it! I can't believe the red team looked at him and watched him shoot that in. They yeah, deserve... You cannot leave. That's what I'm saying. It seems like a lack of energy at the moment. Yeah, they might need a timeout. Yeah, I mean, this was it was 73 to 60, and it's been at least a five five point run here yeah. by the blue team. You had Jay make his two, Glenn make his three, Philip shoots a three, he misses. Dino Good with play the by pat. Dino into Hiram. There Boy, you that's go. a big shot yeah. right there. That was all Dino's hustle. To me, he he still remains one of the candidates for MVP, along with Aaron and possibly Kareem. There's some a lot of people out there playing yeah. well. Jay driving. Yeah, a lot of people could Scoop win, shot could by win Grant. the MVP, Mickey. It just doesn't have to do with points. JP to Glenn again. Oh, misses. Looks oh. like there's a timeout on the court. I think, I think JP got hurt on that one. It's possible. Blue ball. 75-65. RL's back in the game. RL to Jeff. Jeff to Grant. Grant. RL back misses. in the same place with the rebound. Danny, long three. three. No, that's a little short for Danny. Yeah, he's hit. He's made. It, he's made some good threes, but he's been short on a couple today too. A lot of people have been short. Yeah, I wonder if him being captain is just starting to get to him. I don't think so. I've known him long enough to know he doesn't let much get to him. You give him enough time and pass out to Yaram with the fadeaway. Yaram, he's missed a lot of shots. He normally makes too. Jeff tried oh. to throw it ahead. Didn't have enough strength on that one. Philip, Philip in the corner. Dino with another three. Boy, he's trying to break their back with that three. He's missed a few of them this quarter, but yeah, you know, if you make them, they're they're a great weapon. But you live and die by the three. Well said. Well said. I think Shakespeare said that. Really? I thought I said it. Danny missing. Another layup. Alex comes up with it. Alex out to Gavin. Gavin penetrating against Jeff. Good nice little pass, tip pass. Philip. Philip back to Alex. Alex back to Hidam. Hidam inside, misses another little jumper. Alex gets the rebound, misses his jumper. Philip misses the tip. There, Jeff with another and Jeff rebound. Jeff with a rebound. All right, with the pass out. We're seeing a little more action now between both squads. Grant is not shy about shooting his threes. And, uh, and nearly another rebound there by. The captain is getting well, pissed I'm off. I'm not sure what happened there with Arell. A little bit of frustration there. It seems like that. They have got to play together. They're down by 10 points it seems. in the fourth quarter. This is not a time you can it's, afford it's to bicker. It's do or die for the blue team. Good move by Dino. Good little fake. Can he hit this turnaround jumper? Boy, no, but everything but the jumper. Everything but the jumper. Danny, good rebound. Jay's taking it up. The red team seems a little sluggish. I expected Jay to have a little more impact in this game. Long it's, three by Danny. always an impact ball player as Grant throws up a little teardrop, and it goes. Yes, we have under 9.20 to play, and they are down by eight. So we have still a anybody's timeout. game, I think. What yeah. do you think? It is, actually, but the blue team needs to step up. We do have a quick timeout by the red team. It seems like they're doing a few substitutions. Yeah, the, the clock just stopped for a moment. That'll give us an opportunity to talk a little bit about Boys and Girls Clubs of America. Remember, if you want to send some money in for a donation, they're always happy to take it. Yes, and we are appreciative of them um, sponsoring our game today. Back to live action. Kareem with a three, a little bit short there. Air ball. They're shooting a lot of threes. Red team has shoot a, shot a lot of threes in this quarter. I hope it doesn't come back to bite them. Yeah. They See, do end up with the ball again, however. They need to get back to the fundamentals. You know, and Robert could not handle the pass by Dino. Sometimes I wonder if those two work good together. Yeah. Here we go. And Aaron bringing the ball down. As only Aaron can. Yeah. Here we go. Back down to Danny. Danny to Oh, good shot to RL. Those kind of shots you can depend on RL for. They're, see, what it happens to see is the blue team is doing more layups this half. The they're red chipping team, away is yeah. what they're doing. And the red team is shooting a lot of threes. and They're trying to take a big lead. And there's another three. Speaking of it, in and out. Alec Good with try. the rebound. Alex with another rebound. 
He's getting a lot of rebounds. Yeah, it seems that way on this one. You um, know, a fake the three that time. Good play and a left-handed layup almost goes. But what a good idea that time. They're so used to him shooting those threes. And they're trying to determine where the ball went out. Let's see. Looks like a little controversy here. Danny talking to, I think it's probably Donnie there yeah. on the sideline. And Kareem is making peace. It seems that Dino came back in and touched the ball, but they're wondering if he was out. And I think the refs have finally cleared it up. I think it, I think what's going to happen is it's going to stay down here, in, in my opinion. Yeah. Let's go to Walt Buckwood, to Walt, our retired referee up in uh, upstairs. Walt, you looked at this. What do you think? Well, it looked like he was not the last guy to touch it. It was actually Gavin. And then he had two feet in. And that's it. Basically, it was all from there. All right, that was Walt Buckholter. He is our retired referee watching the game with us today. Here we go, Kareem. Backboard. Good try. Danny comes up with the rebound to Aaron. Nice little pass into Aaron. Aaron, like a blur, little layup. Oh, beautiful little layup by Aaron, and he is keeping them in the ball game. He was like flash on that one. We couldn't even get the camera to get there. Chipping away, blue team still behind, but only by four. It was about 10 points. It seemed like just minutes ago. Well, Aaron is playing a great game as well, as we said before. Little back door to Dino. Dino tries a scoop shot, almost goes. Rebound, Donnie. It seems Donnie that man-to-man -to -man coverage is getting to Dino. There are, they're trying to get in his head. They've got to do something to stop him. And nice little pass to Danny. The beautiful trap to Aaron. Another. I've seen that a couple and times there was a today with Danny. With Dino and Danny. Timeout on the court. We'll be back right after this. Okay, here we are after the timeout. Red has the ball. 75 73, a two point game after Aaron's layup. Iran with the miss. Danny with the rebound. Just Danny is really asserting himself here in this quarter, taking over. We have about under six and a half minutes to play. Jay with the ball. Jay to Aaron. Aaron looking for an opening. Down to Donnie in the corner. And it's in. That is the three-point shot. I think that's the first three of the day for Donnie. And it was actually at a crucial time. They actually take a one-point lead, Mickey. That's big news. Blue has come back from a 13-point deficit. Kareem with a shot, and his is short. The red team continues to try and shoot those threes. But I can't say enough about how the blue team kept their composure and it chipped away at it, and now they're ahead, and the red team is the team that's in trouble. They're actually playing much smarter ball right now than the red team. They're going for the open shots. There's Danny for another three. That could be a backbreaker. That is in and out. Whoa. Good try. Jay with the pass out to recuperate. Looks like there happened to be a I foul. Think, uh, Donnie got bumped by his son in there. Sorry and for the foul language by the crowd. <laughs> it might have been the commissioner, but we'll have to check that later. The league office, see what they tell us. All right, 76-75. Aaron inside with the jumper. Misses it. Rebound, Danny. Danny gets his rebound. Misses, misses it. the scoop shot. Haram with the rebound. And off to Robert and off to the races. Takes it in. Robert inside. Scoop shot. Missing. Tried to take it inside, but a little too fancy that time. Red Not team's back to play defense. RL back to Danny. Oh, are you kidding me? Danny missed that shot. Boy, that would have been a big shot for them. Good play, though, by RL. Nice pass. Donny to RL to Danny to Robert. There we go. And it looks like uh, we're going to possibly we have make a stoppage in play. Make a, make a change. Alex coming into the game. On the floor for the red, we've got Robert, Gavin. Yeah, I'm Alex and Philip. And on the floor for the blue, we've got Jay, Aaron, Donnie, Glenn, and Danny. Here's Philip. Philip, that's where he likes to be, and that's why he likes to be there. Nice little touch around the basket. Red comes back, takes the lead, 77 76. Here comes Don. You can hear Dino in the background saying, Watch the three pointer. They don't want to go up by a lot. Jay. That's where Jay likes to be, in the middle. He's sneaky in there. Back to Danny. And Aaron. Oh. Another smooth stroke three-pointer. Boy, if this guy isn't playing one hell of a game, I don't know what. Here we go. And Abe, he's given the blue the lead again, 79-77. Oh. Somehow they left Phillip all alone <laughs> at the other end of the court. That what happened there? That was a free gift. And they've tied it up. 79 all. Here we 
go. It is getting exciting in here, and Aaron launches another three. That Misses might that have been one. the backbreaker on that one. If Alex comes made. up oh, with another rebound. Steal, but there is another it. steal. <laughs> and here's Aaron again. Out to J Dog. Oh, in and out. And the ball stays. Oh boy, the Aaron he robbed saved the ball, but to the blue team. We are watching the Harlem Globetrotters bloopers. It seems like. <laughs> <laughs> at some points it does seem like that there's only three minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter and we are all tied Danny with another three in and out rebound by Aram no everyone's trying to contribute and do what they do best and I think everything will show here in the fourth quarter here we go down low that's where Philip likes it Wide open from That's long the range. That's scoring champion, and he nails it. When they most needed him, he actually Boy, came he through. has come through today. Let you me tell right you. Mickey. Gavin's really been hustling. He's been shooting the threes. They are up by three. That was an unexpected and very, very big three-pointer. JP. They're working around the horn. JP to Don. Don with a three. Whoa, oh, oh, and that doesn't go. Jay with the save from Jay going out. Corrals it. Back to JP. JP oh, with fake. the fake. Ooh, in and out and again. Miss. Alex with the rebound. Back to Gavin. The red is pressuring again. And Gavin is set up for another three. That's long. Boy, Blue's got to be careful. They can't just leave the three-point shooting champion open like that. Yeah. That, you're absolutely right because he can go off at any time. Don, back to Aaron. Robert just took the, the turnover. Back to Aram. 82-79, three-point lead for Red. And we had a timeout there. I just wanted to let you guys know we are glad that it is Independence Day and we are sponsored by Jimbo's TNT Shack. Jimbo's, since 1807. Yes. They have buy one, get two free. Back to live action now. Green works it into Hiram inside. That's the kind of shot Hiram can make. He missed. He gets his own rebound. Down. And it looks like he got uh, freshly held him down. Two free and throws. Two crucial free throws. He needs these two. free throws. He's a good free throw shooter. Yeah. Oh. That one is out. In and out. Oh, He's given the blue team a chance. There's not much time left. Every point counts. The tension is mounting here. Another in and out. Boy, they, he has kept them in the game. They are still in it. Hear the crowd shouting defense. Oh, Greg oh, just wow. and there was a block by Hiram. Good left hand. And then I think he might have knocked him off his hand on his foot, but I think there was a foul called there. He might have got his hand in there. Yeah, he might have. Red team up by three. They are they are scouting three-point line. They are not allowing any of their snipers to go off. Glenn in the middle back to Donnie. Donnie can shoot some deep threes, just like his son, uh, Grant, who nails oh, it. Grant in, coming in. up with a big three-pointer. First is one son, Gavin nails one, and now Grant's nailed one, and we're all tied at 82. But it does not look like any person on this court is faced by the score. I think we're going to go to time. There's less than a minute, it seems like. And we are back to live action, 82 all. Final moments here. Fourth quarter of the first annual Hollywood Hoopsters All-Star Game live from the YMCA in Hollywood, Florida. And they're setting it up here. Looks like Red will take the ball again. Kareem will inbound. Donnie playing on him. Robert. Out to Robert. Robert. They're setting their Gavin play. Kareem with the pick. Back out to, to Phillip with the jumper. And Hidam. I think Hidam might have been fouled on the rebound. That actually was a pretty smart foul, that one. He would have had a nice layup. Yeah, I think Hiram, you know, knowing how he plays inside, I think he probably would have had that. So Robert has given the ball to Kareem up top. The ultimate point guard, Mr. Kareem. Feeds inside to Phillip. Phillip to the corner, takes the jump shot, rebound. Hiram had it. Shoots it himself. Can't hit it. And I think that's it. That is the end. I think that's the end of the fourth quarter. We are headed. It looks like we're headed to overtime. It seems that way. And here we go. You guys did not pay for it, but you are getting an extra quarter. All right. RL and Hidam jumping up. Okay, with like the ball. Blue team takes possession. Danny with a quick layup. Wow. That's the way you want to start overtime. Take a two-point lead. 
Okay, Jerry, they're going to put the pressure on the red team right away as Robert brings it up. Brain intensified man-on-man uh, -man defense. Robert takes it up. The level of intensity is definitely increased. You're on with the fadeaway. Missed it. It's not a good shot. You don't expect to see that from Hidam. No. Here's the man that's really played a great, great game, Aaron. Yeah, they need, to, they need to keep an eye on him, especially in overtime. They don't want him to win the game for the blue team. Danny, nice little drive. Danny with one of his classic passes. And he with another, <laughs> with another rebound, and he misses another layup. Danny with the rebound. Red team is playing Cross very... Cross court to JP. JP looking for Aaron. Aaron back to Danny. Good ball movement. Take the... Mm, that would have that hurt. Five-point lead. Well, the, over, the overtime period is only 10 minutes compared to a normal quarter, which is 15. So we may not see quite as much scoring. Robert picking for Kareem, who takes a shot, and good block by Jay. Alec with the rebound, looking to shoot the three ball. Uh-oh. Oh! I think you can stop your alcoholism now. Now I'm putting the wine right? glass down on this play. <laughs> okay, so Jay coming back up, red leading. 85-84. Back to Aaron. Aaron back to Jay. Jay being patient, looking for an opening. RL looking to pass, like always. And Aaron! That might have got blocked, not sure. Red team with the rebound, they're gonna clear it. And here comes Kareem. They haven't scored a basket yet in overtime. Oh yeah, they scored one, sorry about that. Yeah, Alex's three-point shot. That's right. Not many, but he got one in. Oh, Aaron with the steal. Aaron can usually hit these, and he does. Oh, against three red team Beautiful players. little spin move. And Blue is taking the lead again, 86-85. Danny playing up close on Kareem. Robert with the ball, looking for someone to get open. Oh, oh another swat by Aaron. That's a couple of times he's swatted Robert's shots today. Robert out into the corner, he up, and that goes in as Nothing well. but net. And that was a three apparently, 88-86. And Hiram again the captain, knowing when to strike. Mm -hmm. Gavin checking to Jay. Jay in the corner. Air ball back to Kareem. Kareem getting uh, suffocated by Danny. Yeah, Danny is the, they used to call him the suffocator. <laughs> Gavin yeah, goes through everybody, and then he hits a brick wall named Jay. A lot of us have hit that brick wall. Yes. <laughs> We're all familiar with it. Well, it's uh, been a very interesting quarter, an overtime quarter. There's been a lot of action. Yeah. And it really uh, can go either way still. Who knows? Maybe we'll see a double, a triple, quadruple overtime today. I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't. I brought my sleeping bag just in case. <laughs> Beautiful. And Alex, uh oh, oh Lord, sorry about that <laughs> you one. You need to take another swing. Okay, here we go. Danny, oh, he had a layup and he lost the ball. He lost the ball, unfortunately. He got his, uh, he got his um, ball back. All right. Yeah. And uh, Danny and Aaron. Aaron the Jake. the Jake, and he can hit that. Ah, oh, good try. Alex laying out. And apparently the ball went out of bounds. Ball checked back. Blue with the ball. Aaron looking to JP. JP looking to RL. RL with the shot. And RL with his own rebound. Yes, tips it to Danny. Danny hit to Aaron. Aaron <laughs> bottled up. Can't make it. Good defense by Alex. He got he got um, the red team clobbered him on that one. All five of them went to the ball. Surprised he didn't pass it out. Into the corner for Gavin. On the court for Red, looks Kareem, like, Dino. Looks like Phillip wants it Phillip down low. Wants the ball. Gavin, of course, and Alex. And Phillip with the little jumper. Alex, Alex with a rebound and a missed layoff. Looks like he's screaming right now. He's upset. Know. He's upset. I can tell. And here comes Danny. Danny slowing it up, waiting for Aaron to get into position. He got a little space there. Nice Passed little, it out. Yeah, that nice little dink pass. And that's the classic J move, and there it goes Off again. Off the backboard. You can't stop him. You can only hope to contain him. You've seen all that energy he has. He ran all the way back to the other side. Dino with the long three. JP fell with the wind. 
Yep, JP gone with the win, and Blue will check the ball in. We've got a tie game, 88-88. Looks like Granson. And Donnie looking for an opening. Under On the five Danny. minutes, under five minutes remaining here in the in the overtime period. Grant turns around, passes back to his father. Back to dad. <laughs> and and it looks like Donnie was uh, must have got fouled. I in think that he play. got tripped there or something. <laughs> you can Danny hear, and Don working together. You can hear the uh, their teammates on the on the bench cheering them on. Danny, long three. Ah, oh, another air ball. That's tough. I mean, I don't know if he's trying to uh, compete with Alex right now. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. Danny can hit those shots, so I feel confident when I see him uh, uh, shoot them. But, and I think that was blocked. Phillip. Green shot was blocked. And then Phillip, I believe that was a foul. Yes, it was. Are they going to put Phillip at the line? Not many points have been scored so far in this overtime. Nope, six points apiece. All right, we have a substitution. You're on for Alex. Alex, again, taking himself out. That might be the last we see him. I don't know. Hopefully for my um, for my sake. <laughs> for your health. And yeah. Your liver. Because I need to drive home where someone's taking me home. <laughs> All right, so Red will inbound the ball. Oh, I thought you were talking about red wine on that one. Gavin outside. Gavin looking to Robert. Robert will drive the left. Covered by Aaron. Turn. Nice Pump fake, fake off backboard in. Gets the jumper to go. That was Red. pretty sweet. 90 to 88. Don's taking it down. Back to Aaron. Aaron to uh -oh, uh, Glenn can nail that. Oh, off. in and out. Looks like uh, somebody spilled a water bottle, one of the uh, fans. Yeah, it's off camera here, but we can see there was a problem in the water, and Glenn, I think, slipped. I don't know if that was a lady's look water at that, Look at that puddle but down there. They hope they get that taken care of. Yeah. Signal down there to them if you would. Uh, look at his shoes. Jerry. I just realized and they are very bright today. Glenn's shoes are probably the brightest in the building. Yeah. If you put those shoes with, um, with Jeff's socks, you really have a combination there. Yeah. And Kareem oh. just off the rim. Boy, that would have given them a four-point lead. But as it is, Grant comes back. Little jumper by Grant. And, and he just out. misses. Surprised he didn't wait for his team to come back to start passing it back out. Well, Donnie's got it. He's always dangerous. Gets it to Aaron. Back to Don. Don and Aaron working the two-man game. Freshly's coming back. He's and Don, limping. his patented three-point shot. Aaron. No and Aaron and somebody's laid out. Danny is gets laid out in the back. And I don't know if that was his own teammate or... It looks like it will be, the ball will remain we with a, blue down here at yep, this end. Looks like a foul. We have somebody cleaning the uh, wet floor. That, that Jay is amazing. It, one, one second, he is a concrete block playing defense. The next, he's driving like a freight train to the basket. And the next, he's cleaning the, the court. He's well, the that court. could be a penalty for coming in three quarters late. I think that's probably what they did. They expect him to do a little extra, and he... He has come through with that. In the meantime, Aaron missing his foul shot. You don't expect to see that. No, he's been doing good all game. They need him right now in the stretch. And he misses the second. Thank you, Jay. That was nice. All right, Kareem down the right side. Robert up top, down to D Dino. Dino. Takes one dribble into Hidam. Hidam likes that shot. Off the backboard. Oh, off the backboard, no good. And Red will check in. Red still up by two. 90-88. All right, Dino out to Phillip. Danny cover him pretty good on that play. Oh. I think he tried getting it to Robert. And I think it was knocked he tried, out by Aaron. He tried to squeeze it in that one, but. Yeah. And Donnie, I don't what? know if he tried to miss that on purpose. He might have been doing alley-oop. Yeah. Oh, another miss by Aaron. It's, it's, I don't know what's going on now. Well, he's been playing well all game, so, I mean, you have to feel confident with him, him shooting. Oh! And there's Donnie with the steal, and will he hit the layup? The camera person, we're, sorry about that, we missed it on camera. Apparently he got fouled, he did not make this, uh, the hoop, went to the foul line, and uh, he's at the foul line now, he missed the first one. And he hits the second one, so. That actually was a good foul, almost clear, ba uh, clear path to the basket on that one. <laughs> Dino way downtown, and I'm I, that doesn't surprise me. He missed everything on that one. Well, sometimes you just got to go with your gut feeling. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. So Jay bringing it up. Blue down by one. They need a hoop. Aaron. Aaron Back to Jeff. to Jeff. And Jeff, a nice soft touch. Yeah. His shooting. He has Looking very hard. patriotic with those socks. Yes, he is. And uh, we're getting down to the wire here. That may be an omen, for, maybe for the blue team. Robert, a long jumper. That's long. Rebound, Don. And Don, all out sprint here. Down to Grant. Oh, oh just missed. Dino coming down, fast breaking by himself. He's got to pull that up. He will set it up top. The uh, the blue team thinks it was a carry on Dino. Looked pretty close. Oh, missed. And Robert taps it out to Blue, and Aaron with the rebound. All right, they're slowing it down. They want to get the last shot. There's not much time left in this game, and Blue is up by one. As you can see, everyone's standing. I don't know what, what Phillip was doing on defense. He's got to get down. There's only less than a minute oh, left. Oh, open shot by Aaron. He has missed the last couple shots. And I think Red's going to call timeout here. Timeout. They're going to try and strategize. You can see them getting together. And uh, if it were you, if you were the coach here of the Red team, what kind of a play do you think you've designed, Jerry? Um, I would possibly try to, you know, ISO Robert. Looks like he, um, well, we're back in play right now. And they did give it to Robert, and they go to Haram. Foul. Looks like there was and a I foul think, on that one. Yeah, I think Hiram got hit in the uh, arm there. And Red will take it up top. Dino will start out with the ball and up top. it looks top. like the Red team is playing with their starting five. I think you've got to do that at this stage of the game. Robert moving around the picks. Hiram setting a good pick. Back out to Robert up top. Robert looking Dino for Philip in the middle. Robert with a high dribble gets the ball back. With Jumper, the, and he's oh, got it. Off the backboard. He's board. got it. Look at the blue team. They are in awe that this has happened right now. As There's good still as they time played. remaining, though. 92-91. They're patient. They're an experienced team. If anybody can pull it out, Are they you surprised they're not calling a timeout to regroup? Well, maybe they think they've got red team on their heels. Jay with the ball. Jay to Grant. Eight seconds. Seven. Seven six. Five. five Four, three, three, long three. Two, and Grant with the long three. That would have won the game. And that's it. And that is over. That's it, Jerry. And the fans are going absolutely bonkers here. They are going crazy. <laughs> here at the wild. Look at this guy in the bike helmets. What in are they Hollywood, doing? Florida. This is pandemonium. Okay, and welcome back. We're here with the final post game show. It's me. Your favorite commentary, Mickey Storm, along with my partner, Jerry Sutterville. And we're happy to be here with you again today. Thank you for watching the game. We had a good time. We're here to talk a little bit about the final statistics and what went on today. What were your uh, general impressions of today's game, Jerry? Very entertaining. Um, it came down to the wire, as everyone did expect. Um, actually did get an extra... Uh quarter involved with the overtime. Um, I, I feel lucky that we were able to see an extra quarter, uh, not a full quarter, an overtime quarter, but it was tight the whole game. Uh, you know, one team would take a lead, another would come back, the other team would take a lead, the other would come back, and you always felt that each team had the potential to come back, and that's what happened today. Correct. Uh, the red team did prevail. They did win by one point. Yeah, the final score was red 92 and blue 91. Let's take a look at the final statistics, uh, Jerry. Uh, final score again, 92-91. The uh, blue team was led by Aaron, who had 32 points. He shot 13 of 32. He had six three-pointers, which was the high for the game, and seven rebounds. And in my opinion, he was one of the top uh, potential candidates for the MVP. Correct. We will know shortly who the MVP was awarded to. Um, but I believe he did pretty good. Um, unfortunately, his team did not win, though. Well, he scored 32. Uh, next up was Grant, who had a surprisingly effective game. Uh, he had uh, four three-pointers of himself, 18 total points, five rebounds. The captain, Danny, uh, ended up with 15 points, 12 rebounds, and he certainly had a solid game. And, and some of his passes, which don't show up in the statistics, I think made a big difference for the blue team. You're right. You're correct on that one. Um, Aurel played an overall decent game. Again, he's another player whose stats really don't reflect what he does on the court. He shot 3 for 12, had 6 points. Had uh, He was really a defensive presence. How many times uh, I remember myself saying he had, had he put his hands in and he got, uh, um, he got his hands in on a play and made a good defensive play? If there was an award for most valuable defensive player, it would have went to Aurel. With the amount of steals and the amount of blocks, just his presence altered the game. 
Yeah, I think he made a, a big difference for them. Unfortunately, they came out on the losing side. But really, this game was really either teams to, to win or lose. Mm -hmm. um, the rest of the blue team, they, they, they all contributed very well. But I would say that the surprise, if there was a surprise, is that just... Although we know how good Aaron is, he's always been a very, very fundamental good ball player. And he shoots the threes and he's, he's speedy. But he also had a very good defensive game and, and shot pretty well. Now, let's talk about the winning team. The red team, led by the captain, Hiram. Uh, the high scorer there was Dino, who's certainly another MVP candidate. He came through with 22 points. Uh, he was 8 of 30. He had five three-pointers, which was second best in the game overall. Um, Robert came up with 18. Hiram with 17. Philip with 15. And I think you can see here the pattern. The red team, their scoring was more evenly distributed. Correct. The first, the first four guys on the red team were evenly um, contributed to the score, whereas there's only top three for the blue team. Yes, and um, you know, one of the big areas to me that really sticks out is the rebounding. If we look at the rebounding, you see the red team ended up with 88 rebounds. The blue team ended up with 61 rebounds. That's a pretty hefty d d rebound differential. And that was one of the keys to the game that I thought would win this game. It, 88 for the red team, 25 of that went to Alex. Alex had 25 rebounds out of the 88 for his team, over a quarter of them. His shooting, he was 2 of 20, but you don't really have Alex in there so much for the shooting. You're not, you're not depending on him as offense. That's why you've got shooters like Dino and Robert and Hiram and, and all that. Um, now, as far as leading the red team, the team leader, as far as being the, the voice of confidence during the game and the person that really seemed to control the game, I would say that was probably Kareem. Correct. He, he was a facilitator. You did hear him on the sidelines pushing his team to go through thick and thin. To me, he was very valuable in that sense. He uh, he also made a lot of crucial little layups in there. He was uh, he had nine points. He was four of thirteen with uh, uh, three rebounds. Um, Hidam had a terrific game, 17 points, a good all-around game, 17 points, 8 of 22, 23 rebounds, the second highest rebound total of the game. And just looking at the rebound, I, I don't mean to uh, uh, stay too much on the uh, talking about the rebounds, but you look at Alex with 25 rebounds, Hidam with 23, Philip with 16, Robert with 12, and they were all in double figures with rebounds. And if I look at the blue team, only one player was double figures with rebounds, and that was Danny. Correct. And as you can notice from the stats that we have, the only person that was a double-double was Danny on the blue team with 15 points, 12 rebounds, and they had two doubles doubles in the red team with Iram and Phillip. Actually, there were three. Oh, yes, you're absolutely right. Robert did come in as well. So it shows that they did do a little more on the red team, and they prevailed with that one-point victory. I think one thing that's very interesting, and we don't have it down here, but I can tell you that the field goal percentage for both teams, if you look at the blue team, they shot 37 of 128, which turned out to be 28%. Which is not good at all. But, but the red team, 40 for 138, which was also 28%. Both teams shot at a 28% pace. And I want to thank our statistics group to come up with these statistics in such fast... Um, can't think of the word, but no, brought it to us. They quickly. came up right away. And, and having said that, I do want to thank a couple of other people before we sign off today. Okay. And please take a look at the monitors today. You can see we have our our score person, uh, uh, Kayla, and her brother, Isaiah, was our ball boy today. Say hello, guys. And there they are on camera. Without them, we wouldn't have the balls to play with. So she said, and of course, uh, I think they did a great job keeping the time for us and keeping the score. Um, there's one final piece of business, uh, but we, we just were informed about the MVP. And you want to announce that, uh, please, Jerry, who were our MVP winners today? The MVP winners today were Dino, also Kareem, both from the red team. And here they are, a little uh, right after the game. Here was our trophy presentation with the commissioner, JP. Uh, presenting the uh, the MVP trophy. There it is to both uh, Kareem and Dino, the co-MVPs for the winning red team today. Uh, live at the Hollywood YMCA, July 4th. Independence Day. And we want to thank all of you for coming out. And um, if you take your ticket stubs, you can come back, go to Miami Beach, see a free uh, fireworks spectacular. Anything else free you'd like to give away since we're here this afternoon? Any advice? No, just we'll see you back next year. Same time, same place. Thank you very much for spending your afternoon with us. For Jerry Suterville, my name, of course, is Mickey Storm. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.
short break, a uh, player's career, and I think that's what puts the extra pressure on and makes them feel excited to be here. That. Mm -hmm. These are definitely the, the games that separate the men from the boys, wouldn't you say? I do say, but you know what, though, Mickey? There are some men and boys on the game today. <laughs> there are men and boys, but we're going to see if the boys can reach puberty today. We're ready. we become men at the same time. Well, Jerry, and you can certainly tell the fans are excited to be here today. Uh, is there something going on with your mic, Mickey? All I hear is... <laughs> Why does my mustache just come out? That's what I want to know. Alrighty, here we go. <clears throat> Yeah. <laughs> Jerry, I ain't gonna stop taking you to these big events. If you don't did you have <laughs> <laughs> Mickey, how much red wine did you have for free game today? Jerry, I'm happy to be here today again with you, buddy. Uh, it's nice to be here. It's fun to be here. It's, it's real fun today. Yeah, uh, a good time. It's tied real tight on me. My, my mustache. <laughs> Thank you.